Hello and welcome back. This is Double O Debbie, and this is episode nine of my Stone Block Let's Play. Hooray! Uh, in today's episode, we're going to do some more automation. Actually, I've kind of already done it. <laughs> uh, I made the crusher from the extra utilities uh, mod, and I hooked it up to where it's pulling out of our uh, already existing cobblestone generator that's also producing the lava for our smeltery and the lava for our obsidian. So <laughs> it's a busy little cobblestone generator, let me tell you. Uh, but it is upgraded to diamond, I believe. Oh no, only right now. I think it's only iron right now. I don't think we've upgraded to diamond just yet. But <laughs> I made a couple of these transfer nodes and used a couple of pipes and I piped um, I have it to where the it's coming out of the crusher and going directly in to our mechanical user I love these glasses they are so amazing <laughs> I hope you like them too anyway come along let's go see what we've done Uh, this is the pipe feeding into the mechanical user from our brand spanking new crusher from Extra Utilities 2. And then we have another node here pulling out and transferring it in. So it's, but it's not very fast. So what we want to do today is to try and find some way to get some grid power. Because not, I was thinking that I wasn't going to go with the extra utilities crusher because we would need grid power. But if we're using the mechanical user, that's also from extra utilities. And we can also speed that one up. So it would be in our best interest to go ahead and go with the grid power. So that's what I did. Um, I'm going to go ahead and throw that in there. I took a stack of... Oh, a cup. we had a couple of stacks of iron up there ready to be smelted. So I went ahead and pulled it out because we needed some iron for, uh, for the crusher itself. It was mostly iron. It was six irons, two pistons, and a machine casing or machine block from Extra Utilities, which took four iron, four redstone, and something else. Let's, let's see, I have the crusher here. A chest, <laughs> of course. Okay, so that's what we did. Oh, I threw one down, oops. And up here, this guy's just been going, he's been going at it. Um, of course we still oh look and we can make two more of those I kept the string on me just so I can make some more meshes mesh eye I don't know what the plural of mesh is or maybe it would just say be mesh like the plural of deer is deer so we're just gonna say mesh the mesh <laughs> Look at it. It's beautiful. I love it. So we got two more mesh out of the mesh. And we have two more stacks of iron to deal with. Awesome. And a stack of aluminum. Great. And we also have a stack of that we can uh, boop, throw in there. Uh, we also got a stack of copper. Wow. Stack of tin. This little guy has been busy, let me tell you. Bloop. Um, there also is... There's not... I don't believe there is an auto packager in this. This is normally what I would use or what is accompanied with uh, Ex Nihilo, at least in... Um, you know, agrarian skies and uh, crash landing. 
X Nilo was accompanied with the auto packager. Well, it's not in this. I don't know that the auto packager mod is still going, but I loved it. It was so simple and easy to use. <laughs> uh, but I think it's either... Let's look. Um, auto should narrow down things quite a bit. Um, we have an auto workbench, automatic feeder. That's not what we're looking for. Auto chisel, nah. harvester, stra oh, look at that. I think that would be awesome. And look, it's it's pretty simple. I mean, we ha I think we have all the stuff. We have a farm. It would be awesome because it, it's sitting back there. Oh, wow. This is an automated user. I wonder if we could have used that. Oh, but it has like a magma block and obsidian gold. A little bit more expensive than... Um, The mechanical user uh the obsidian isn't anything but i don't know yeah we don't have the magma cream but we technically we do we have one magma cream but it's just the slime ball and a blaze powder isn't it yeah and we have a slime tree um producing slime balls uh in our bonsai tree farm and we have blaze powder over there so we technically could make that and it's just too gold so i think we're looking at something like the auto crafter or let me look uh there's the auto compressor Uh, from X Compressum, that would work too. Um, it looks like, yeah, either we're going to be doing the Auto Crafter from X I think there was something else um from actually additions but it wasn't called an automatic um What is that? That looks amazing. It's an auto sifter, but look at that picture. That looks amazing. <laughs> I wonder if it's animated. It would be worth it just just to see if it's uh if it's animated, if it goes like up and down with the sifting and stuff like that you know like um this auto hammer has a little picture of a guy in there swinging a hammer <laughs> we might have to test that out just to see uh-huh okay so let's look uh this takes purple dye which technically we could totally make because we have red flowers uh we have bone meal we could get more if we don't have enough and we have lapis. Uh, this is an observer, a bone block, a workbench, a piston. Versus what for... Uh, what else were we looking at? Oh, the auto compressor, which is just crafting cables and iron. Um, I just 
don't um let's look under crafter maybe that will give us uh we got auto crafter an ender io crafter a simple crafter oh uh x3 utilities has a oh yeah that's right i remember that a mechanical crafter or an analog crafter i don't know the difference between those this one's really cheap i wonder how i want to make this and see how it what is the difference between these two because i've used this one and it's pretty darn cool. You can use it in, well, I used it with like mystical agriculture. I just made a chain of them and you can sit there and, and feed it the, um, the green powder. Uh, I forgot what it's called. Oh my God. Anyway, you can put that in there. It'll craft it up into, um, the next tier. And if you have another one of these machines next to it, it'll automatically feed into there and then you could tell it to craft that. But what winds up happening is that you you have like five, five or six blocks of the crafters. Um, which is okay. I mean, if we got plenty of room, we got a whole world to, to make stuff. Uh, but I'm curious as to what exactly is an analog crafter is that something that uh, I don't I don't know let's build it find out <laughs> we have a chest all we need is a crafting table boom and a lever which is easy because we have one cobblestone on us <laughs> and then we just do this and we got an analog crafter. Now, how does this work? Always on. Keep at least one item in each slot. Does not apply to items that do not stack. Oh, uh, is that like the only slot? See, the only problem with this type of crafter is that uh, it does take multiple blocks if you want to do multiple recipes. So, uh, it might be better for what I'm thinking... to use this crafter tier three, which takes a crafter tier two and a crafter tier one. So what we're looking at is, um, we'll be able to uh, craft up all of our little chunks of ore in one block. We'll be able to send it to there and then craft them all into their their chunks of ore like this and then we'll be able to send them on to other places. This I don't think is going to do what I want because it, it looks like it can only hold one recipe. So what? Did you get that? Yes you did you sneaky little sneak. Um, wow, look at that. While we were talking, we got two more stacks of iron. So that is amazing. And we got, um, you. Oh, oh no, now it looks like it ran out of our reserves. So this is the thing. Is that, uh, we, we need to work on, oh, we got a chunk over here. Uh, making these things faster uh, especially the crusher right now it looks like our crusher just isn't going to be able to keep up hey I said quit that well I didn't really but 
anyway uh, so I guess it would be more important for us to figure out a way to make our crusher go faster or make another crusher possibly even more find another spot for it um, because it is just in the wall up there maybe we'll make um, we'll make a little section here Um, yeah, we'll make like a little, a little box here, and this will be the start of our production, and then we can just have a line of crushers that we'll just all export and then feed into here. So, um, we'll also want to make, an, well, let's just make our own cobblestone generator for this. Um, I believe I have back here gotten out of our loot bags a bucket of water and a bucket of lava. And then we just need like one piece of glass and the cobblestone in our hand. Bada bing, bada boom. And we can make uh, another cobblestone generator. And I think it'll be plenty fast enough uh, to output. We got two extra buckets. So while we're waiting, let's just go ahead and toss in a load of iron. Okay, so what we're going to do is... I think what we'll do is we'll have cobblestone generator in the floor have a a node here boink boink okay and then we'll grab um, another note do not break this with your hand please uh, because if you do it will go away forever and ever Uh, yeah, I broke one with my hand, and and it it's just gone. So yeah, that stinks. So what we want to do is put our crusher here, boink, and then we're gonna have from the back. Um, we're gonna put a battery here. So we're gonna need some lead. And we have redstone. And we have iron. Is that all we need? Or do we need some copper? Yeah, we'll get to the crafter later. Let's work on this. Um, we need a battery, a cell, an energy. Energy cell. That's what basic energy cell. That's what we need right there. Uh, looks like we also need an electrum. Uh, lead gear. Oh, we need four glass. Uh, so we're gonna have to go start some glass cooking. Let's get some glass cooking. Bada bing, bada boom. Glass of cooking. Let's uh, get these out of our inventory for a second. Um, we need electrum. So let's get eight gold. Which one's silver? There we go. And we have iron in there. Uh, 
this should go on top of it and it's got three blocks of iron to go to so it should turn into uh, electrum before this <laughs> takes out all of the other stuff of the iron so yeah that's getting turned into our electrum so that'll take it a little bit so let's work on making the lead gear is that just this yes uh, we'll need the glass oh I guess we could do this right here and then I think it was like that and then with iron yeah and I, I don't remember a block of redstone okay so we need a block of redstone ouchie kebabbles and then just two lead and our electrum ingot it probably hasn't started on the electrum yet no, it's still doing the iron. Let's go ahead and uh, tell it to do our electrum next. Yeah, because we need one. There we go. And that'll be fine. It'll be fine. Then we do that. We do that. And we get our cell frame and our block. And then we have an empty battery and we can put our specter coil right there boink and it's gonna start filling this guy up and we want to output it to the front not the back or not down so there so we can put um, three power cables right there and feed all of the crushers because uh, we're going to put two more there and that's going to feed uh, cobblestone and hopefully we'll get tons of stuff. Oh, and look, we have just enough of these. Let's just do this. Boink, boink. That should work. And then once we get the other two setting on there so now we just need the power cables which are I want to take a glass I always forget I think it's just one glass two lead and then redstone or the other way around nope I got it right sweet I did the thing so now we just um, bink, bink. and look it's going it's going guys awesome so now we need to make two more of these which uh, should just be a couple of like four pistons no I need more wood and we have plenty of cobblestone uh huh Awesome. Then it's um, splits you up, put you there, and then just boom, iron. Uh huh, uh huh. Pink, pink, and then we just put our other two nodes there and there, and then just. there now we should be feeding in three times the amount of gravel there we go and then <laughs> so what we need to do is 
we need to get uh we'll do this for like uh next episode we're gonna upgrade our grid power so we're well <laughs> right now we have zero grid power so uh we're actually gonna create grid power so we're gonna get a little bit into x3 utilities uh and that'll be fun <laughs> we'll have to like dig out an area to create the grid power um that we need for this but it, it's okay so anyway uh thank you for watching and i hope you'll join me for our next episode bye bye